There it is. Can't hear shit. Man, I forgot to hit the on button. Hopefully you're hearing me now. Uh, <laughs> you missed. I was playing the cool WrestleMania video game music. and I enjoyed it. Screwed everybody over. Uh, do we sound good now? Is everything good now? I am a bozo. No. Yeah, I just never. Can't. I just can't get this right because I keep pulling this into different areas. So we had to do a Zoom. I had to do a Zoom interview uh, with uh, Mikey V of a certain team, and I needed it to look better than any Zoom interviews ever looked before. So I, of course, used my new switcher and a set and uh, mm. microphone and everything. So I was on the opposite side of the studio doing that Fancy. yesterday. And then I had to move it back. And then I have to move it back again because I have a Zoom meeting, not to be recorded, but with a, another group today. But I just need it to, I need everyone to be jealous of how good uh, our Zoom looks and sounds. As we Remember should. when uh, you got that for yourself? Yes. You know, you could have saved yourself a couple bucks and just had the company buy it since... Well, uh, Munch has already talked about because we could use them for things. <laughs> he wants buying. some. He wants some. Yeah, we might buy some. We don't know yet. Uh, Can we put them in very large, obnoxious fly pack cases so we have to like bring a forklift in and just move that little thing around? Yeah. Just to keep with the times, you know? Yeah, they do make. Uh, there's a six hundred dollar model that has a multi viewer built in. <laughs> so. Not that I needed that for this, but is this good for the company? Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, these? I, I I love these. These are... Uh, Target. No, this was uh, the Color Wave from uh, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. We got our entire uh, set there. Is that... These are the ones? No, no, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, Nortaki. That the color wave was the uh uh yes. Nakatomi Plaza, Nortaki <laughs> Plaza. Uh, I'm I'm just glad I'm quite tired. That's why I'm drinking the coffee. I'm just glad I'm actually lifting it up to look and I probably would have just turned the whole thing upside down and why are you quite tired? I didn't go to bed till like three and then I was up at six. So what were you doing till three? Don't say fishing in Red Dead Redemption. No, I was I wasn't fishing. I was too busy. Uh finishing up the epilogue because it took two years but i finally went back and played single player and finished it up it's been sitting there for me so and then i sat and i had to watch the credits because there's post credit scenes and stuff like that and did you know it takes a lot of people to make a video game so the credits were about 45 minutes um so yeah that kept me up kind of late and animal crossing since it's never done when kk slider performs they show the credits so you could see them Anytime you get KK Slider on your island. I mean, for me, I'm like, fuck, I don't need credits. Just throw a copyright up and be done. Were you? You know what? Fuck the copyright, too. It's like, yeah, go to black. Yeah. Fuck it. Busy crafting a corset in Red Dead 2. Is that what you're really doing? If we could, I would. Uh, That's why I'm glad I don't have it on PC, because if I could mod it, then yes, my character would probably look like a prostitute from the 80s. <laughs> So I was raised. You can uh, blame Mortal Kombat for that. It's called the bro. The man's ear. <laughs> Tribute to Jerry Stiller. When uh, it's Ethel or whatever her name is, his mom walks in on Kramer and him and the bro. The man's ear. Great scene. Jerry Stiller was great on Seinfeld. Um, hey Mark, you know, did, the, did you ever have these chip on you, though? I had a plate. They told me they don't chip. And the lady, like, even smashed two of them together in the store. And then one day, like, and my kid drops them and everything, they're fine. And one day I was putting them away, and I chipped a little corner off. It was very disappointing. No. My shit Jay, from Target still know. isn't chipped, and that shit's, like, 13 years old. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I can't do Fallout 76. I don't like the... I'm a loner when it comes to that. That disappointed me. We'll wait until Fallout 5, which is a little bit away. 
seeing as now Elder Scrolls is now like years oh, away damn. before they even tell us anything about it. You know what I mean? Okay, buddy. Sure. Did you play yeah. it on? Uh, Brian played the arcade game of Cadillacs and Dinosaurs the other day. He was Whoa. Hannah. Uh, did you play it on like an emulator? Like a, a MAME 32 or whatever the hell it's called? I want to um, play that. Loner Dottie, a rebel. Um, so I saw some news I wanted to hit y'all with. Uh, my favorite, as we all talked about, uh, te television chef Guy Fieri and one of my favorite actors in the planet are having a nacho showdown on Friday on the, um, yeah, I know what you mean, Brian. Uh, they're having a nacho cook off on Food Network's Facebook page live on Friday, May 15th at 5 p.m. It's going to be awesome. And it's all going, the proceeds for everything are going to support um, Guy's uh fund which he set up to help out of work restaurant workers which has already raised tons of fucking money he's doing uh, uh a lot of uh good work um guy fieri and i you know people are writing about him now like guy fieri is just you know everyone loves to hate him but uh uh you know he's he goes to these restaurants and he makes all these people look good so i guess he's a good guy i'm like i've been saying that for fucking years <laughs> Yeah, everyone says that. He's a, he's always been a good guy. And uh, his restaurants are great. I love uh, Guy Fieri's Chop House in Atlantic City. And Chantress and I have been there multiple times. When you sit down, you get pretzel bread put in front of you. And you get this thing of butter. It is mustard butter. It's, I was like, is this mustard butter? And you taste it. And it's mustard butter. It is, oh, only Guy Fieri could pull it off, but it's delicious. He, uh, if you ever get to Atlantic City, it's in the valleys on the boardwalk. Um, yeah, I know, Emerald. I used to watch Emerald live, but he does seem like a, a, a big douche. They all do. Like, Bobby Flay seems full of himself. <laughs> douche canoe. Yeah. yeah, I heard that Emerald was difficult to work with. Um, but yeah, Guy Fieri isn't, so. Oh, that's nice. Oh, no. They're officially moved next summer. So, uh, well, you'll get to go next summer, and you'll get to jump in. And, and even if you just stop in for the wings, he does these, like, lollipop buffalo wings. What do you give me a look for? I want that. Oh, yeah. They're, and it's uh, a wasabi blue cheese dressing for dipping. It is I'm delicious. still going to sit there the entire time like this is just awful. This is so terrible. Why? Oh, because I'm a pretentious ass. <laughs> I'm a food snob. But, you know, at the same time, I'll be eating a bag of Purdue fucking uh, chicken strips out of the air fryer and dipping it in a blue cheese hot sauce mix that I just whipped together. Hmm. Like one pinky in the air. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I just wanted to say I, I'm excited to watch the Bill Murray Guy Fieri Nacho Showdown. Also, um, well, that's it. That's really all the the news I have. Now, I got I got some mail. You want to see some cool stuff I got in the mail? Ooh, and there's stuff for you. So, uh, our friend Matt, who is having the pop sale i bought two pops off of him uh, of course uh boo berry in there squeezer ah and frankenberry there's a little delay ah frankenberry he sent uh stuff for you though for uh squeeze out he sent oh, you don't have to do that twilight sparkle Here you go. Uh, cat in the oh, hat. Aw. Uh, Flutter's shy. My all my little ponies, and then he sent a giant Horton and a giant Discord, which I believe is My Little Pony also. So if you haven't started watching My Little Pony yet, I'm sure oh. after she gets all these, you will be watching My Little Pony. That is too kind. Uh, and he sent uh, this guy from Animal Crossing for us. 
and he sent this really cool retro yeah. Desert Storm Victory, the Ground War t-shirt. So thank you. What man. is that a legit like yeah, 30 old year old? Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. So I will put these pops in your office for whenever you uh, come back. Uh, hopefully sooner than later, yeah. And I will add my cereals to my collection. I think that'll more than exceed the three day wait and see uh, quarantine on boxes. What's that mean? Uh, they usually they see you know if you're not too confident they said like by after like three days you're good just kind of oh i've i've read yes but you the, the likelihood of you catching coronavirus off a surface like a box is like slim to none i know but i still have to wipe things down um also i got but thank you that is so kind in the mail hang on you see I, it's the I gotta ha wait hammer man oh, thermos snap. lunchbox with the roughneck guaranteed cleaning personalized nameplate whatever the hell and the mint condition wow. hammer man thermos of course they're mint condition they never were they were never sold <laughs> they sat on the shelves until oh who doesn't want a thermos with singing thermos with singing shoes wow that's a it's not a tongue twister. I'm just an idiot, folks. It's my hammer, man. That I am so jelly. Packing my lunch in this bad boy from now on. Hammer I, man lunchbox. I don't recall ever seeing any of my friends. Like, you know, that was not next to the Ninja Turtle G.I. Joe uh, Dick Tracy lunchbox. What, would, I don't know, I've... what do you think <laughs> you would pay for, like, the Jurassic Park mint condition like this. Oh, mint with with the um, uh, tetra. Uh, yeah, the, the tetra thing mutagen. That, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, I wouldn't even know. Because uh, there were a lot of them, right? I, I don't know. More than a Hammerman lunchbox. Uh, yeah, it probably costs a lot. This was twelve ninety nine on eBay, and <laughs> it's mint condition. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful item here. Do you think they got confused? Plastic. Like, like we got we got a, a sale. Yeah, we always get sales. Yeah. No, someone bought the Hammerman lunchbox. Mm -hmm. Is that a mistake? Are you sure? We don't want to ruin this, like screw this up. Are you sure that we can send them another lunchbox if they want another one? No, I think I think Ferris is right. I think I bought this straight from MC Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Came out of a storage unit. I thought that was a great thing to show off. That's a, that, a, that's that's a wonderful a piece. Um, yeah, yeah, it's weird because I'm watching on, I got to watch on the YouTube because the delay, because the camera, it's like an autofocus. So you are blurred, you're blurred out like you're in one of those crime shows, like talking about the guys in your, in your gang. It's actually pretty sexy. Hmm. I like it. It's well lit. It's supposed to, uh, yeah. It's supposed to blur out the background. No, it's it's blur. Now it is. Mm. I think it's when because you, your profile, because uh, it like it adds guessing, to the background. Auto detects your yeah. facial features, mm. perhaps. Because right now the uh, it was funny, like the back of your head's very strange. <laughs> I kind of like it. Yeah, it's it's more for reference. Uh, there so you go. You yeah. guys, you guys could see it here. I'll uh, put Squeezer at full screen. There, me in the Sorry corner about there. That. And I, I'm also I gotta look over and I see myself and I look like absolutely that's his hell. that's his profile. Uh, and then uh we'll get you back here and squeeze you back in. Close that was. There you go. Um all right, so uh I, I, I tagged Hulk Hogan in the uh uh in the, um, the post on Instagram today to watch a show. I'm like Hulk, you wanna join? The YouTube chat. <laughs> I doubt he cut a promo with Jimmy Hart to promote uh, WrestleMania 3's airing on uh, Fox Sports 1 tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. And he cut a promo <laughs> to promote it. And it, oh, man, he's still the best in the game. So I wanted to debate. Uh, E-Rock said, 
uh, rewatchable categories. What hasn't aged well? Hulk Hogan as a role model. And I was like, <laughs> I'm going to debate that. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, Becky Lynch, the man, is pregnant with Seth Rollins' child. So she had to give up the belt, apparently, last night on Monday Night Raw. That's a good euphemism there. He rock. I like it. <laughs> but I will debate Hulk Hogan as a role model. Terry Bolella, not a role model. Hulk Hogan, as a kid, was a great role model. I think that's where we... What if he were a kid in the late 90s? Still a great role model? Oh, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. No, that's Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Oh, so you're you're separating the man. You're, yeah, from okay. the character, from the gimmick. The yeah. character. Growing up with Hulk Hogan um, as your... Uh, uh, um, wasn't his defense that he's a character in real life? I don't know. I, I really don't know. But he won. He sued Gawker, which I thought was great because I hate those gossip websites and shut it down. Um, so good for him. I mean, he he did say some despicable things, but I think growing up, he was a good role model. To have. I mean, for me, he was my hero. He was like a superhero, you know? Yeah. They're all flawed in some way, Tony Stark. I mean, except for... Uh, Captain America, you know. Hmm. They're all flawed. They all have their demons. Superman and Captain America, you're Boy Scouts. That's it. You know, everyone else is Steve Rogers. You can't find something bad on him. He's just the ultimate good guy. Yeah, but he took steroids too. <laughs> he did. A lot of them. He took government steroids. If the government does it, it's okay. Oh, fair enough. So that was Major League Baseball's big issue. If they would have just taken the good old Steve Roger government steroids, it wouldn't have been a big deal. Let me tell you something, brother. That's true. If, Ro <laughs> uh, it, so if Roger Clemens would have had that fancy shield. He would have been fine. He could have deflected uh, pretty good. Um, <laughs> so uh, also... Uh, Clark Kent, Superman. It's uh, he's the ultimate. That's why I don't think I don't really like the Man of Steel. I like Henry Cavill as Superman, but they need to uh, they need to do a a good Henry Cavill Superman where he is just the ultimate uh, Boy Scout. Rocky IV was all logs and snowy hills and cabins. I want to see that Red Sun animated movie too. The Red Sun is a comic book. Uh, I, f I don't know if Jeff Johns wrote it or or Jim Lee who drew it and wrote it. I forget who was the comic book, but it, it imagined if uh, Superman landed in Soviet Russia instead of America in small hmm. Smallville. And he's a, a, oh, yeah. he's a weapon of uh, um, uh, Russia. And they did, an, they did a DC animated universe movie of it. That would be Mark Miller wrote it, yeah. Or is it Mark Millar? I think it's Mark Miller. I think he said it, but he's British. He's like, Mark Millar. So it sounds like Mark Millar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and anything, Mark Millar is just Miller or whatever the fuck his name is, is a, a brilliant writer, man. We wouldn't have Civil War without Mark Millar. Uh, great, uh, great book. And it's probably going to be a great DC animated universe movie. Um, all right. We're watching Hulk Hogan's Rockin' Wrestling today. Uh, let's go to radyears.com. I posted the episode. the The picture on the on the cover is a, a VHS I had. So I was like really big into this show when it was on, and I liked wrestling. And I had a couple of the LJN figures, like in the eighties, like late eighties. But then I fell out, and what could have been only a year or two could seem like a, when you're a kid is a lifetime. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then I picked up on it. Uh, I picked up on wrestling again at WrestleMania six when Hulk Hogan was taking on ultimate warrior. And I was a big fan throughout probably up till 2004. They kept me. Uh, so that was a big run for me. And, um, once I got back in, I wanted to find Re Hulk Hogan's rock and wrestling. Cause I remembered watching it, but I couldn't find anything. And I got this VHS tape and it had two episodes on it. Three little Hulks where Hulk's three little nephews come and, um, they're wild things and he has to babysit and get them uh, 
fish out of water type Hulk Hogan's not a babysitter. W- was this the uh, inspiration for uh, Mr. Nanny? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. And then uh, there was the right stuff, which uh, ha- featured uh, Hulk Hogan and Nikolai Volkov going into outer space to help uh, ra- astronauts that were stuck up there. And it's it was really good. And I didn't pick those two episodes because on the VHS they were from like each episode is is compromise comprised comprised is that the word i want to use comprised comprised of two short episodes and that vhs picked two from two different episodes so it would be hard for me to do that and since i've seen them a thousand mm-hmm. times i would know them so well so i wanted to pick something i really didn't know so well so i picked one uh just reading the synopsis seemed good uh they're cleaning mean gene's house in the part first part and andre wants to convince his mom he's a chef not a, a wrestler, Andre the Giant, in the second episode. Um, Just the premise alone. All right, we have our cast of professional wrestlers. What do we do with them? Let's clean out Mean Gene's garage. Yeah. Well, that was the whole point of this show. And they're all yeah. in the wrestling gear, and Hulk wears his belt all the time. It's beautiful. Oh, Legion of Doom, Dark Side of the Ring tonight. I'll have to check that out. Hopefully it's better than the fucking Sook Snooker one. Okay. You guys ready to watch... It's on mm-hmm. radyears.com um, or set to zero, and it's going to be three, two, one, play. Squeezer, yep. are you ready? I am ready. And three, two, one, play. Ah, uh, that old school Hogan theme song. That entrance, slapping his shoulder. Uh, Bruce, Bruce Pritchard was talking about uh hulk hogan he's like there was yeah we had you know they had that speaking of legion of dooms the the road warrior pop there was you know the the rock and roll express pops in certain areas but he said there was nothing in hogan's heyday there was nothing like a hogan pop it was unlike anything you've ever seen in wrestling of course there was the hogan car and the roddy piper was ahead of the bad the heel faction car The show really didn't work because it took too long to animate and it didn't keep up with storylines. So people were face wrestlers uh, and portrayed as heels in this cartoon and vice versa. Uh, obviously with Andre the Giant and Hot Rod. So it was written by Larry Dottillo and that's Clean Gene. That's Mean Gene Oakland there. He did have a much superior hairline. <laughs> Oakland, you whip. We want to talk to you. Well, Mr. Piper, Iron Sheik, as I'm sure you can see, I'm having lunch. He's having lunch right now. Perhaps later. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. This is uh, a great portrayal of Hot Rod Roddy Roddy Piper. uh, Yeah. Why why does Piper have so many muscles? (laughs) I know. (laughs) How about starting with a nice piece of cake? Or pie. Hulk Hogan, am I glad to see you? I I hope this is what it was is really like back in like craft services. That's my friend, see? When it comes to big jokes, I am the only one who's funny. I'm a giant. But this isn't over. Lo- who loaded up the boot or was that the guy? Uh, I forget who would load up the boot. Special today, turkey. Well, that's the truth. Special today, turkey. <laughs> Calling someone a turkey, that's an insult. So we got Wendy Richter, that's Captain Lou Albano, Mean Gene Oakland, Hillbilly Jim. Mean Gene just walks around and tucks all day. Wendy Richter, I know. I'm so hungry. Lou Albano, just a fucking pig. <laughs> I like the idea of Junkyard Dog just doing his like day-to-day stuff with a chain around his neck. Right. Did you see that wrestling fan? That reminds me of, yeah, that. I sure am. Just 
a dear friend of ours who would just walk around with his own microphone and just. I know. <laughs> yeah, it was Brad Garrett. Voiced, one of his first jobs was voicing Hulk Hogan for this. I mean, who's going to fuck with JYD? He's got that chain around his neck. Ready to rumble. Yeah, uh, everybody loves Raymond. Was Brad yeah, Garrett. you got mo a lot of his stuff. He did a uh, VO work. No, 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 no. We're talking about another. Announcer. Oh no, 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 another. So there's Jimmy Snuka, the Leah Valley murderer, Tito Santana. <laughs> alleged. Alleged murder. Alleged. That was a different kind of dirty. Unless you watch that dark side of the ring, in which case he clearly did it just three minutes in without any red herring or sense of drama or suspense. Oh, now here are the bad guys. It's Big John Stud, Mr. Fuji, Hot Rod. This place doesn't look so dirty to me. Swamps don't look dirty to you, Captain Lou. <laughs> Sick burn, Tito. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have any muscles to, to back up that chain either, Ismo. No, it was. Uh, I'm not Volkov, gonna look. I, I, fabulous Moolah. Yeah, who doesn't like Doom Buggy? Yeah, uh, and I'm not. That's a long way back to going though. Comrade Moolah. Uh, that was some very high ceilings. Yeah, could put a studio in there. Oh, no, you don't. You wash the floor. I'll take care of those dishes. Big Fat Captain Lou might be my favorite thing about this show. Yeah, he's that's his uh, gimmick throughout the whole show. He's a, he's a fucking pig. <laughs> All clear. All clear. Fabulous Moolah. There's a... I don't have a very good sense of perspective as far as like these doors go. No. It's junkyard. They all get in there really quick. Hot Rod's always oh, the right. foil. Mm -hmm. That's a that's ingenuity there, Captain Lou. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> of course, they have the Japanese guy tinkering with the electronics. I'm going to clean the house nice and good because I'm a giant. I don't believe I did it uh, If only Superfly would have cleaned up a little better after his own mess. Yeah, Ric Flair would have been flying jets everywhere, not doom buggies. I got to a super fly. That sneaky Mr. Fuji. I don't want to. I know. No prep space. How are you going to fucking cook a full meal in there? <laughs> I don't get what the heels are, are doing I here. <laughs> it's like they're just, they're just, they're just being ripping He's them. a fucking heel. That's what you do when you fucking, you're a heel. You get heat by fucking dirtying up a motherfucker's house. I'll get you over. I can swear I keep hearing laughter. I, I, and I don't mean this as an insult. What's up, Matt? I just but showed it, off uh, the mail call earlier. Sorry, go ahead, squeeze it. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Um, it, what? Oh, I was very skinny there for a second. Um, it's still better acted and more realistic than when the WCW guys were on Baywatch. Yes. Ah, Flair was pretty good. Oh, it's Ric Flair. Is that on YouTube? I want to put that on the list for something to watch. Watch out. Hogan Kenny, he's the fucking heavyweight champion of the world. He can't control a fucking floor polisher. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. When that floor polisher gets in the ring with these 24 inch marathons, it's going to be all over. Because Hulkamania, it's going to run wild all over it. So, last time Hogan would bump until he faced Slaughter at WrestleMania. What's that? 
that was, that was a, like that was like one of the few bumps Hogan would ever take. Yeah. It was a floor buffer. I don't. I realized Hulk Hogan. I don't know where he is. Oh no! Damn Fuji. Did they forget to color him in? Who? Hogan. Like, <laughs> he, uh, he completely matched, like, the wallpaper in that. Oh, did you see that flex God. there? When he came mm -hmm. to the, the hole, he's like... Wow! Yeah. <laughs> All right! We got it real clean. So I get they're bad guys, but kind of just dicks. We fucked up a mean jeans house and made it all dirty. But these dickholes fucked it up. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, how big is that property of 583 and 538 are right next to each other? Uh oh. Cheeks can get deported. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's probably on probation for smoking joints with. Uh, Axel Jim Duggan. Yeah, how, how, how much coke do you think they left just laying inside the police chief's house? Oh, man. General Mills and Tantris just sent me a text. General Mills, you know, they have their Star Wars cereal. The next mm -hmm. iteration is going to be a Mandalorian Baby Yoda. That's awesome. I'm going to have to get that. Now we're on the second episode. Hogan's getting his lift on, his swole on. Look at him. He's fucking ripped. Take that, Bjornsson. And, uh... I'm going to hit the bag on this <laughs> fucking giant. Whatever you say, Superfly. Whatever you say, Superfly. He deserved that. Hey, Andre, you got a postcard from France. You're not supposed to read his mail, Tito. <laughs> Seriously. Well, someone's got to read it for him. On Saturday, the 21st. Look forward to seeing you. Love, Mama. Look forward to seeing you. Love, Mama. Oh, how'd that cane shot end up? It's the little things that hurt the most. <laughs> Captain Lou. Yeah, I don't understand why they're like, okay, we agree with you. Wrestling is shameful, even though we're all pro wrestlers. Let's make you something else. This is definitely not kayfabe. Oh. Forget it. I think so. Uh oh. She's all yours. <laughs> She's all yours. We got one hour to turn you into a French pastry chef. Andre can't be a baker without some junkyard threads. Junkyard threads? It doesn't fit my big head. I don't know how successful his business is going to be with uh, Captain Lou there. Yeah, I know, right? Eating everything you make. I don't know. It's just it's it's a it's a work, as they say in the business. He's not even really a a, a baker. He's he's a working baker. He's not a shoot baker. Here we are, ma'am. Andre's French bakery. My little Andre. My little Andre. Of course, she's so teensy. 
why is this guy with a professional wrestling heavyweight championship belt and wrestling gear driving me to your <laughs> bake shop? <laughs> well, because he's just a lowly pro wrestler. And yeah. You know, what about that guy? There's, why is he not wearing shoes? That, yes. is, that is not sanitary. All right. Don't let him get near the stairs with you, mom, either. Uh, they did the sneak a little uh, splash in there. Mama. How long have you been a baker? About an hour. <laughs> <laughs> what is, uh, you dumb bastard. So You're ruining your own work. Right, yeah. You got to give a working answer, not a shoot answer. We'll whip you up some tots instead. <laughs> Is this the other one bites the dust? No, theirs goes. Da 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 da. Not da 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 da. That was dangerously close. Yeah. There you go, Lou. <laughs> that a boy. That'll save him. Oh, uh, you know that's not safe either. Like that that chain's gonna get stuck in a conveyor belt and Yep. Ah, oh, they're all getting in the face. Here comes Tito's. You can't laugh and get No. Oh. Oh, oh that's that's that started that's with you. Like... Right. Also that's like when he pulled Flair out in the rumble. Right. They pulled Sid out. And Flair won. Or yeah, get your fine. shit together, Squeezer. Damn it! I told you I was tired. Look <laughs> at me. He pro psycho. Thank good for Sid. <laughs> Thank God for Sid Justice. Yeah. <laughs> when Sid saved them uh, after they got married, Jake the Snake put a cobra in a package, and Sid was there with the chair. Thank God for Sid Justice. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. Uh, how much? How much body hair do you think is in in no, these baked goods now? They're all full. Most of them are fully shaved. Uh, not Captain Lou. Not Captain Lou, but uh, Superfly was like a seal. That's yeah. Oh, he's probably yeah. All that. Give me a hand, brother. There's no. I don't think there's any heels in this either. The oh, fucking oil on heels. <laughs> oh, they're doing a good enough job themselves. That's a uh, American Pie. Is that a American Pie quote, Eugene Levy? There. All right, don't anybody move. This is a stick up. Oh, what are you trying to stick up, fucking Andre the Giant for? I'll just spit on your face if you take that gun and eat it. Can you? I've been doing Andre the whole episode. I'm a giant and I'm a baker. Someone get me some wine. Fuck you, Hulk Hogan. Don't come in my bake shop and discuss the... Oh, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta write a script for myself. She's putting the fucking Cobra Clutch on him. The Boston Crab. And there you have it. This is a live action, live action, everybody. Hanging and banging. Is a recap, I guess. I guess is this the or is this supposed to be at the beginning? Or is this or I, I think this are we getting a lesson out of this? No, yeah, this take it easy, fella. Hurting me won't do you any good. That's not what happened. Oh, why you're not a mean guy at all, I don't know if I can do a Ric Flair impression. He thought I, he has a little bit of a lift. He's like, when Ric Flair is coming now. That's dusty. I'll work on Ric Flair. I'll get a Ric Flair impression for you. Don't worry. Woo! 
since. There's plenty of room. I'm confused what's going on right now. I don't know either, but together in the same car hope that must be a real far out experience. You don't know how far out me and Gene, but you'll find out if you watch today's show. If you watch today's show. That was just that was nothing but lies. Oh. So is that mm -mm. I think uh Vince McMahon still owns the rights to this. Uh, in WWE. That's why I wasn't even going to try to show it. I'm looking for his name. Jim Steinman. World Wrestling Federation. Uh, that old school logo is just fucking classic. Uh, so yeah, there was a uh, Squeezer to do Ric Flair as RK. He left this one. This is a good opportunity for Squeezer to do Ric Flair as RK has left. Why? Because I got a lisp. Yeah. <laughs> is that it? I didn't say it. No, I do. Try Ric Flair. I, I, you know, I can't be can't, can't, styling can't, and profiling. I can't. Uh, I can't get that. And I don't want to go too high. Relax, wearing. I, I can't sleep in right my head. I don't want to screw that. Tuxedo. I will get in so much trouble. <laughs> Uh, you are Jeff Lyon Limousine Ryan. I am. I, hmm. All right. Let me. Pull up a good Ric Flair. To be the man, you got to beat the man. So I, if I do it, I got to like yell, and I can't do that right now. You're Ric Flair. You're styling, profiling, limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheeling, and dealing, son of a gun. Yeah. I gotta be quiet while I'm doing it. I can't get that same energy going. Did you study the sun, baby? I did. It's not there yet. Getting there. I just kind of walk around my house giggling. <laughs> yeah. We'll get there. You just gotta... you kind of gotta choke on your own saliva while you're doing it. That's what babies do because they don't know how their face works. I don't know if I. I'm just thinking of Flair. Flair's like. I'm Ric Flair. <laughs> I can't do. It. I got. I got to watch the man to get Ric Flair down. I will watch some Ric Flair. What should he order from Red Robin? They deliver. Help him out. I say the Whiskey River Barbecue Wrap. It's pretty good. Because uh, are doing Andre. I would Grant. go with uh, three onion ring towers. <laughs> uh, ask if they deliver bottomless root beer floats. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like your bottomless fries, please. Yes. Uh, Squeezer, can you do an Andre the Giant? Oh, I don't think so, pretty lady. I can't. Hello, pretty lady. No, I can't. I want to be not. That's true. I, I can't. No. Yeah, a cup of your mouth so you sound bigger. I love the giant, and I love the many of three. I'm going to cross all going like a ball. Eric, that is uh, <laughs> I am the Bob, Red Robin yo. and Hershey. <laughs> Jason can tell you about the Red Robin and Hershey. No, no, Our hey buddy here can tell you about the Red Robin and Hershey. No other Red Robin in the planet has served more bottomless root beers and onion ring towers than the Red we Robin. Are, and we are well known in those parts. Yes, yeah, so uh, for the longest time, that was the fools. only restaurant in Hershey we were ever allowed to venture into. The trick is, uh go about seven and a half hours into an eight hour setup bitch and complain that you guys aren't done yet. And then you say, we got about 20 minutes worth of work to do. Break everyone for lunch, take them to red Robin at, uh, like lunch rush complain that it's taking too long to serve 20 fat guys, <laughs> 19 fat guys and one slender gentleman with a well-defined chin. It's you, sir. And then, uh, bitch and complain that, uh, you, all you guys wanted to do was eat. And, uh, now I got to pick up the tab. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and then make sure to thank him. Right. Uh, and then go back and then get bitched out because you guys went to go eat and didn't finish all the work that you had to do. I know it's a good story, but they don't have context, so we don't need to go on and on, I guess. No, we don't have to go on. This was, it was just for Jason. Okay. 
So, uh, uh, but yeah, we've been in, that's a, that's a, that's a famous red Robin. Yeah. Seriously. When that crew of eaters walks in any restaurant, the, the crew's like, ah, it. shit. Uh, an impression of my dad taking me to Red Robin, but limiting what you could get in the menu. Oh, so uh, Ryan, I know you're 14 now, but you're still going to order up the kids menu because you only look like you're 10. So uh, order while you can. Just kids menu only. Yes. He'll have uh, uh, something off the kids menu. I'll have, uh, I'll just have, yeah, um, he'll have the kids menu. <laughs> That'd be Jeffrey. Could have gone uh, the tropes. Ryan, your flight down. Um... <clears throat> This was fun. I got to do my Andre almost the entire episode, so I was like <laughs> uh, doing that, and I, I cut a few Hogan promos, and then we saw Hogan hanging and banging and <laughs> doing that double flex thing he does. He's the fucking... <laughs> uh, no one does it like Hogan. Uh, but yeah, we're all... I guess we're done for today. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with an episode we've yet to decide on what we're going to do, and I think I should have phone call the phone lines open again, so if you want to call in and talk about this mystery subject. Um, we certainly can do that. I don't know if you want to since keep it sports related, Squeezer, do retro sports. Do you have enough material? I can come up with something. Then there it is. We'll talk about retro sports and our lack of athletic ability on tomorrow's oh Balzac. I think you talked Balzac already, didn't you? I mean not that we won't talk about things we talked about already. Yeah, we clearly will. I'm clearly going to do that. There's a little... Uh, which one was Balzac? That was the... Uh, Balzac was... I, I think you brought it up on the... Probably did. Definitely did. Uh, yeah, this, the cloth-covered balloon. It was like it was like a yeah. ball and it had a balloon the in stringy. it. The stringy... Yeah. 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 Yeah, Balzac. Um, that's right. Uh, All right, let's, let's not give away our picks quite yet and sit here and figure things does, out while does, we're on Just the real air. quick, I have a question because, uh, again, I'm not the most athletic person. Uh, the little velcro -y pad glove thing and the ball, is that kind of a sport? When have we ever had rules before? Yes, of course. Fair enough. Uh, all right, I guess that's it. Um, Squeezer the Garth of this team, the smart one who could do all the work. Um, are you building a robotic hand that you have to smash with a hammer? Squeeze it right now. <laughs> Squeeze it. Do I smell brute? Are you going to finish it for me? No. <laughs> I'll do it for you. My woman likes me in cologne. Ah. Garth, take me. Where? I'm low on gas and you don't have a jacket. <laughs> I I used to remember. I don't know what happened. I used to remember things. Swing. No, I don't anymore. It was a great sequel. Uh, all right, we'll be back tomorrow with a full-length show talking retro sports. Uh, until then, I'm RK. I'm Squeezer. We'll be back uh, the same rad time, same rad channel on the Rad Years podcast. Bye, guys. Bye.